February 13th, 1997. The Tokyo Express, an ocean freighter scheduled on a routine voyage from the port of Rotterdam, Netherlands to New York City, would face a rogue wave in nearly capsizing conditions, causing 62 shipping containers to fall overboard. The accident had occurred just 20 miles from Land's End, Cornwall, England. What's more interesting is that within those 62 containers, one was registered to the LEGO Group and was bound to a LEGO distribution center in the United States. The inventory of the cargo contained 4,756,940 LEGO pieces. The inventory of lost items included pieces from Divers, Aquazone, Aquanauts, Police, Fright Knights, Wild West, Roboforce, Time Cruisers, Outback, and Pirates respectively. The following pieces were also lost, all from the previously mentioned sets. Spear gun with rounded trigger, 13,000 pieces in total, 6,500 in red, 6,500 in black. Octopus, 4,200 pieces, all in rubber black. Minifigure life jackets, 26,600 in yellow, and this is just a fraction of the inventory that can be confirmed. There are more types of pieces from general building bricks, cutlasses, sail barges, and various other sea creatures with minifigure accessories. Here's the interesting part. Remember when I mentioned that the cargo was headed for a distribution center? Well, after a fair amount of research, I was able to determine that the shipping container's contents was supposed to be shipped to a distribution center in Enfield, Connecticut, which also doubled as a corporate office for LEGO. For those of you that do not know LEGO's current distribution plan, LEGO no longer operates there. In fact, in June of 2006, they shuttered all distribution operations in Connecticut after opening a factory which handles all the production in Cienega de Flores, Mexico, and a distribution center in the town of Romeoville, Illinois. This is actually why all your packages are addressed from this exact location, but that's a whole video on its own. Back to the story. Because the incident had occurred just 20 miles from Land's End, Cornwall, United Kingdom, pieces from the lost inventory began to wash up upon the shoreline. During the leading years after the incident, many of these LEGO pieces began to be discovered by visitors of the beach. It was reported that kids would even try to bargain with each other trading the numerous pieces of LEGO. As of 2022, the number of pieces appearing along the shoreline have become more scarce, thankfully. Although, interestingly, there's been sightings of the same LEGO from the Tokyo Express washing up in various beaches as far out into the United States, including Georgia, Florida, Texas, as well as both the Carolinas. What if I told you that there is a dedicated community out there that's still actively hunting down the pieces that were lost from the wreck, one of which is a relatively active Facebook page called LEGO Lost at Sea, which houses some interesting facts and photos of LEGO findings post-accident. Tracy Williams, the author of the book Adrift, the curious tale of Lego Lost to Sea has made it a mission and career to scour Land's End and gather statistics about her Lego findings, as well as bits and pieces from the other 60 containers that were lost at sea. There are dozens of pictures of life rafts, dragons, octopus, and numerous other pieces that have emerged. Some pieces have resurfaced decades after the incident. Honestly, I find this situation comically ironic, hilarious, inspirational, and tragic all at the same time for some reason. Maybe it's the fact that out of all the LEGO themes that exist, this incident had to occur during a time where LEGO was pushing multiple nautical themes, like Aquazone and Divers. It's very well tragic because these parts were destined for future LEGO sets, yet their fate was to become yet another pollutant in the sea, even if it wasn't intentional. It's not all that sad though, there are so many dedicated people working on this project, collecting Lego pieces off the shore to share stories about the past and advocating for more careful procedures to preserve marine life. If you told me the story before doing countless hours of research, I'd almost be inclined to think that all this was a whimsical work of fiction. But no. To quote Mark Twain, Truth is stranger than fiction. 
because fiction has to be possible, but truth doesn't.